Hello, magical friends. Welcome to Sunday. I wanted to do this wonderful video as a type of intermediary episode to the truth, beauty, freedom, and love podcast. I wanted to do an official introduction as to what this podcast is all about. First of all, I'm going to be dropping this podcast every Friday, hopefully by 8 p.m. I try to keep it up schedule, but it will be by every Friday. And it will feature conversations, live cosmic conversations with some of my best wonderful girlfriends who are also referred to as goddesses. And to clarify my definition, when I talk about goddesses, I mean the idea of every woman has the ability to act as a conduit for goddess energy. We think of Earth as Mother Earth and the spirit of the Earth. Being a mother, that energy, I truly believe that every woman has been born within her this ability to hold that energy within us. And we do that by doing certain things, right? Our little mini rituals for ourselves, you know, how we wash our face, how we do our hair, how we take care of our skin, how we have goddess baths, how we even have conversations with each other. And that is the theme and the whole idea behind this podcast. It's going to be a weekly sharing of stories. We're going to have some roundtables coming up soon. And I released the story, the conversation that I had with my good friend Pastel, who moved back to Guadalupe not too long ago. I miss you, Pastel. But I'm going to have some more coming up. So she has her own beauty, uh, I'd say, passion let's say she has a soap company which has come from all natural ingredients and the story behind she how she came to what her purpose is here to spread that joy to others in her human family is well within what she's doing and so this is going to be a platform by which i'm going to have you tell your stories i'm going to do that the same for me as well because i'm going to talk about what beauty means to me and the idea that if there's the beauty industry, right? There's the fitness industry, but it doesn't mean that those inherent values of beauty and truth and freedom and love, those are words, but I really want to get into the stories because the stories are how you find the meanings behind things. And I'm going to close this this little introduction video was just a little story from the Tolkien movie and thanks to my girl Arthi out there who uh, had that as a recommendation to myself and Kevin and in there uh, Tolkien's amazing because he created his own language you know for the elves and that whole world and I'm in the process of building my whole world for dragon warriors and that's what I forgot to mention in my first few interviews, there are going to be interviews and cosmic conversations with characters in my book. My book is very meta. My Dragon Warriors saga is based on real life, but also uh, creates a whole new world within it of ancient Atlantis. And the Dragon Warriors are me and my best friends saving the multiverse from darkness and evil. So that's what it's all about in a nutshell. And these first few conversations are with the Dragon Warriors and we're going to talk about how we came to their powers as well as the stories that really make up the inner mythos of who we are because you never know what story you have to share that can truly inspire others. And so going back to Tolkien and this movie, in there there's a scene where he talks about words and the beauty of a word, saladu, I can't remember exactly, but it had the, and I look at that as like song, certain songs, they sound nice, right? You like the sound of it, and his, uh, Emily, his love interest, she says to him that, well, beautiful word means nothing unless it has meaning, and well, how do you put meaning? You tell a story. And so if you build a story behind Saladun, it's a place, a mystical place, where love has bloomed and tragically fallen apart. 
apart and it's waiting to come back. It's if you build a measles around things, and that's how you cultivate, create meaning. And we live in a world right now. This book, this Dragon Warriors book, is for the Pluto Aquarius generation that is yet to be born. A myth, a story of triumph of the human spirit. Okay, warriors, I look forward to spreading stories of truth, beauty, freedom, and love with you all in the upcoming weeks, months, into infinity. Until next time, my magical friends, bye.